Hello, I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Finextra TV. Today we're in The Hague for the Temenos Community Forum 2019, the theme of which is Digital Banking Reloaded. Joining me now in the studio is Derek Corcoran, Chief Experience Officer for Temenos. Hello Derek, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Now we're talking about sort of digital front office trends, so to start off, what trends are you seeing emerging in the front office business functions? So in my role, I really focus uh, primarily on customer acquisition, so onboarding, origination, you know, getting new customers into the bank. And the trend is digital. You have to be able to acquire customers digital. Um, some customers do want to go into a branch, but less and less. And there's just an absolute expectation from consumers that they should be able to open an account, apply for a loan, apply for a mortgage, um, not just on their laptop, but on their phones. All right, and how are financial institutions responding to this demand? Uh, it's great that you ask because we've actually been surveying the banks for the last four years um, to see how readily available is online account opening and online lending uh, for consumers. And we're now at a point where 76% of personal banking products across all lines of business deposits, cards, loans, 76% can now be applied for online and 66% can be applied for on a mobile phone. So they've embraced the change and they've recognized this is what people expect to be able to do, so they're responding. All right, and how do you think they need to adapt and change their business models? Um, well, I think open banking and account aggregation in the markets that don't have open banking is a fantastic opportunity for the banks to say, hey, look, you've already got your personal details and your account details with another institution. So to make things easy, why don't you reach in there through open banking and authorize me to pull that information out so you don't have to type it in. So I think there are services like that that they can embrace to make things easier for the consumer. Um, they need to, it sounds like a cliche, but they need to learn from the Amazons who focus relentlessly on making things easier for, for customers, for consumers, and um, you know, see how that Amazon one-click kind of experience can be applied uh, in such a heavily regulated environment as banking. And then the last area that we're seeing is um, they need to wake up and realize the opportunity in small business. And some are, but small business is still massively underserviced from a digital perspective with accounts opening. Um, so, you know, we're, we're talking like 30%, mid 30s of products for small businesses can be applied for online. That means the small business has to go into a branch. That means the small business has to stop doing what they do, which is running their small business. And they don't have time for that. They, Banking needs to be convenient, so the, the digital convenience opportunity needs to be given to small businesses in the same way we've done it for consumers. Sure, and this must lead to improved customer experience, right? It leads to improved customer experience, it leads to improved revenue, increased profit, greater loyalty of customers, growth. It's, it's a win-win, but it just requires that focus and that investment. All right, and coming back to sort of trends in the front office, business functions, where do you see this going in the future, sort of crystal ball question, as it were? Um, we're seeing a realization amongst the banks that um, banking needs to be embedded where people are thinking about what banking products can facilitate. So for example, I don't really want a savings account, I want to go on holiday. And we've, we've figured that out with car loans years ago, so the car loan became embedded in the dealership where it was beside the car, the thing that I actually want. I don't want a six year debt. I want a car. And so we're seeing beginning of trends of that more broadly where banking products are becoming embedded. So there's a really interesting company in the US called Max My Interest that offers a brokerage service for high interest savings accounts for high net worth individuals. So the government in the US will insure deposits up to $250,000. So if I have more than that, I don't want it all in one account. So I can open an account with Max My Interest then they will open accounts with my choice of actual financial institutions, but I never have to touch those institutions. I never have to go near their websites. And then if my savings exceed $250,000, Max automatically puts the excess into another account and keeps spreading it. So I'm always insured, I'm always protected, but my money is you know, optimized from a savings perspective. But that's not something I have to do as a consumer they're doing it for me. So the banking products, those savings accounts have been embedded in this experience that Max have created. Some interesting developments ahead then. Derek, thank you for your insights and your time. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching.